Hey everyone, and welcome to Advanced NLP, Deep Learning in Python, Part 10. It's hard to believe that it's been over a year since I released my first course on Deep NLP. It's crazy how time flies. A lot of cool stuff has happened since then, and I can't wait to bring that stuff to you. So what is this course all about, and how have things changed since then? In previous courses, you learn about some of the fundamental building blocks of Deep NLP. These can be broken up into two major categories. The first is new architectures. So in traditional machine learning, you treat sentences and documents as a bag of words, meaning you'd lose all information about order. With deep learning, we use RNNs, or recurrent neural networks, which let you take into account order as well. And I'm pretty sure I don't need to tell you how popular LSTMs and GRUs have become in recent years. The second category is word embeddings. Word embeddings are really cool because they allow you to map categorical objects, words in this case, into a vector space, which means you give each word a location on a map. These locations are really important because that's what gives meaning to words. Words are meaningful relative to each other, and word embeddings let you model those relationships. The result is nearby words are always related to each other, and you can find analogies, such as the famous king minus man equals queen minus woman. This demonstrates that the model has learned something about gender. So the previous courses were all about how to build these things and how they work. If you aren't familiar, there's no need to worry since we'll be reviewing all these concepts at the beginning of this course. This course takes you to a higher level of abstraction. Since you know how these things work, it's now time to build systems of these things. How can we make use of word embeddings and RNNs for practical applications? In this course, we're going to see several examples of such systems. We'll be looking at text classification, neural machine translation, and question answering. A lot of people are curious about chatbots, and as you'll learn about in this course, this problem is actually no different from machine translation and question answering. To solve these problems, we're going to look at some advanced deep NLP techniques, such as bidirectional RNNs, seek-to-seek, -seek, attention, and memory networks. I'd be honored to share these state-of-the-art NLP algorithms with you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in class.